Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Econobox Garage. In this week's episode, we're going to continue with the bug I build. I get the uh, mount installed on the transmission, and I also get the template cut for the rear of the boot floor so that I can continue with the repair on the back end of the car. Please be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. I really appreciate that, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me this week. I hope you enjoy the video. So I've cleaned off the transmission mount and I'm just going to put it back together now. I'm quite happy with the condition of the actual mounts themselves. So I've just mounted them loosely to the bracket for now. And now I'm going to mount this up on the transmission. So there's six bolts, two here, two here, two here, and they go here, here, and here. Now one thing you'll notice with the with the mount, it's actually tapered, um, angled back on, on these ones. Or there's an angle on the mount, and then the narrow part goes towards the back of the transmission or the tail of the transmission. So this, I, another way to put it is this one goes closest to the drive shaft. Otherwise, you won't be able to slide it into the tunnel when the time comes to install it. So I'm going to mount this up on the transmission. I'm just going to put the bolts in loosely until I get all six in and then I can tighten everything up including these ones here as it's just a single nut uh, down in there. So there we have the mount all bolted in. These are uh, three bolts up top here and uh, three underneath under here. And then there's the, uh, the nut that holds the mount itself to the mount. And then when this goes in the car, this slides into the tunnel and then from inside the car have uh, Two little bolts like that that go into the side piece here and a couple of longer ones that come up from underneath the tunnel and into here and then that holds everything nice and secure front and back and side to side well it can't move very much side to side because it's inside uh, the tunnel so there we go that's that and one more item off the checklist in the previous video I've got the lower panel for the rear valence um, attached with uh, Clico fasteners and that and I'll put a link to this uh, video uh, just up above. Parts are still on their way. Uh, it's been a little bit longer than I had hoped um, but in the meantime what I'm going to do next is take the template sent to me by a fellow bug eye owner and transfer that template to this uh, sheet of hardboard. What he did on the template here this is the back edge um, of the boot floor, and he's given me some reference points. Uh, center line, so the bumperette holes in the floor uh, there and on the other side too. So I'm going to transfer this uh, to this board, cut it out. So what I'll do is I'll leave it, I'll cut it so that I have the wood on this part. I can drill the holes to match up with the uh, over, bumper overrider holes. Then I can actually bolt that to the floor. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'll just transfer that shape to the sheet of hardboard. And we'll go from there. 
So here if I've marked the center of where the holes are, they're 30 and an eighth of an inch apart. So I'll use that as my reference point. So this tells me this is three quarters of an inch uh, to the back bumperette bolts. So I can uh, use those. I'll, I'll measure two and I'll measure the two and three quarters back from here. Put my template on and uh, mark it on from there. Well, my first set of marks didn't leave me enough room to to work with, so I've just uh, basically moved it over and up a little bit. So it gives me a bit more meat to to play with down here. So I'll get the uh, template taped on and go from there. So I just took a can of spray paint and just sprayed it along there. And when I go to take this off, theoretically, it should give me a nice line. There we go. So there we go. Nice neat line to cut it against. So I can do that. And then I've got, I'll drill holes here. There's actually a pair of holes uh, to hold that uh, reinforcing on and the, the bracket for the rear bumper. So I may just match both of those up. But for now, I'll get my jigsaw out and I will cut along this line here. And that'll give me the profile for the, uh, the back of the boot floor. Now there's a couple of things I have to allow for uh, for this uh, template. These little uh, clips or brackets here uh, that are for the spare tire tie down. So they stick up quite a ways. So I'll have to cut a slot in my panel uh, to accommodate those. So what it is, it just uh, marked where the holes were and then where that, where that little bracket um, is on the floor. Just cut it out of the paper here and transposed it here. So um, I'll probably have to fiddle with this a little bit, but that'll give me, that gives me basically where that is. I've got my two holes located on this side and on the other side as well. So now I think I'm going to drill the holes and uh, get these started. So here's that uh, panel all cut out now. I just flipped it over. I bought um, the white hardboard because it was actually less expensive than the, uh, the regular stuff and it just makes it easier to see once I get it up in there too. So you can see the holes that uh, match up with those for the bumper bracket and the, and the slots for the spare tire tie down the brackets. So this will just pop up into the opening like so and slip down over the you can see it's the uh, there's the tie down brackets and then the holes those line up with the ones in the boot floor as do the ones on this side and that gives me a nice solid edge with which to make sure the the back of the boot floor is, is the correct shape. Now I can make sure that the back edge of the boot floor um, is the correct profile. And I've also got inf other information on how much this face here slopes down relative to the boot floor as well. The uh, reinforcing brackets that go um, basically in here, inside, I'm still waiting for those. They're still on their way. And there's uh, that's a template sitting in there. So. Well, that wraps up this week's episode in the Econobox Garage. I'm glad you could join me. Please be sure to leave a comment, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and the little bell icon so that you'll be notified when the next videos come out. If you'd like to get a hold of me, probably the easiest way is through Instagram Direct, and I'll put a, uh, my tag up in the corner here for you. Well, thanks for joining me. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.